Technicolor theories are models of physics beyond the standard model that address electroweak gauge symmetry breaking, the mechanism through which W and Z bosons acquire masses. Early technicolor theories were modeled on quantum chromodynamics QCD, the «color» theory of the strong nuclear force, which inspired their name. Instead of introducing elementary Higgs bosons to explain observed phenomena, technicolor models hide electroweak symmetry and generate masses for the W and Z bosons through the dynamics of new gauge interactions. Although asymptotically free at very high energies, these interactions must become strong and confining and hence unobservable at lower energies that have been experimentally probed. This dynamical approach is natural and avoids issues of quantum triviality and the hierarchy problem of the standard model. In order to produce quark and lepton masses, technicolor has to be extended by additional gauge interactions. Particularly when modeled on QCD, extended technicolor is challenged by experimental constraints on flavor changing neutral current and precision electroweak measurements. The specific extensions of particle dynamics for technicolor are unknown. Much technicolor research focuses on exploring strongly interacting gauge theories other than QCD, in order to evade some of these challenges. A particularly active framework is walking technicolor, which exhibits nearly conformal behavior caused by an infrared fixed point with strength just above that necessary for spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking. Whether walking can occur and lead to agreement with precision electroweak measurements is being studied through non-perturbative lattice simulations. Experiments at the Large Hadron Collider are expected to discover the mechanism responsible for electroweak symmetry breaking, and will be critical for determining whether the technicolor framework provides the correct description of nature. In 2012 these experiments declared the discovery of a Higgs-like boson with mass approximately 125 GeV, C2. Such a particle is not generically predicted by technicolor models, but can be accommodated by them. <laughs> <laughs> Introduction The mechanism for the breaking of electroweak gauge symmetry in the standard model of elementary particle interactions remains unknown. The breaking must be spontaneous, meaning that the underlying theory manifests the symmetry exactly the gauge boson fields are massless in the equations of motion, but the solutions the ground state and the excited states do not. In particular, the physical W and Z gauge bosons become massive. This phenomenon, in which the W and Z bosons also acquire an extra polarization state, is called the Higgs mechanism. Despite the precise agreement of the electroweak theory with experiment at energies accessible so far, the necessary ingredients for the symmetry breaking remain hidden, yet to be revealed at higher energies. The simplest mechanism of electroweak symmetry breaking introduces a single complex field and predicts the existence of the Higgs boson. Typically, the Higgs boson is unnatural", in the sense that quantum mechanical fluctuations produce corrections to its mass that lift it to such high values that it cannot play the role for which it was introduced. Unless the standard model breaks down at energies less than a few TeV, the Higgs mass can be kept small only by a delicate fine-tuning of parameters. Technicolor avoids this problem by hypothesizing a new gauge interaction coupled to new massless fermions. This interaction is asymptotically free at very high energies and becomes strong and confining as the energy decreases to the electroweak scale of 246 GeV. These strong forces spontaneously break the massless fermions' chiral symmetries, some of which are weakly gauged as part of the standard model. This is the dynamical version of the Higgs mechanism. The electroweak gauge symmetry is thus broken, producing masses for the W and Z bosons. The new strong interaction leads to a host of new composite, short-lived particles at energies accessible at the Large Hadron Collider LHC. This framework is natural because there are no elementary Higgs bosons and, hence, no fine-tuning of parameters. Quark and lepton masses also break the electroweak gauge symmetries, so they, too, must arise spontaneously. A mechanism for incorporating this feature is known as extended technicolor. Technicolor and extended technicolor face a number of phenomenological challenges, in particular issues of flavor changing neutral currents, precision electroweak tests, and the top quark mass. Technicolor models also do not generically predict Higgs like bosons as light as 125 GeV, C2. Such a particle was discovered by experiments at the Large Hadron Collider in 2012. 
Some of these issues can be addressed with a class of theories known as walking technicolor. Early technicolor Technicolor is the name given to the theory of electroweak symmetry breaking by new strong gauge interactions whose characteristic energy scale lambda Tc is the weak scale itself, lambda Tc approximately equals few 246 GeV. The guiding principle of technicolor is naturalness. Basic physical phenomena should not require fine-tuning of the parameters in the Lagrangian that describes them. What constitutes fine-tuning is to some extent a subjective matter, but a theory with elementary scalar particles typically is very finely tuned unless it is supersymmetric. The quadratic divergence in the scalar's mass requires adjustments of a part in O M B A R E 2 M P H Y S I C A L 2 Display style math call O left FRAC M underscore mathem bear carrot two M underscore mathem physical carrot two right Where M bear is the cutoff of the theory, the energy scale at which the theory changes in some essential way. In the standard electroweak model with M bare 1015 GeV, the grand unification mass scale, and with the Higgs boson mass M physical equals 100 to 500 GeV, the mass is tuned to at least a part in 1025. By contrast, a natural theory of electroweak symmetry breaking is an asymptotically free gauge theory with fermions as the only matter fields. The technicolor gauge group GTC is often assumed to be SU NTC. Based on analogy with quantum chromodynamics QCD, it is assumed that there are one or more doublets of massless Dirac technofermions, transforming vectorially under the same complex representation of GTC T I L R equals U I D I L R 4 I equals one two one two N F display style T underscore ill R equals U underscore I D underscore I underscore L R text for I equals one two T F R A C one two N underscore F Thus, there is a chiral symmetry of these fermions, e.g., SU NF L SU NF R, if they all transform according to the same complex representation of GTC. Continuing the analogy with QCD, the running gauge coupling alpha TC mu triggers spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking, the technofermions acquire a dynamical mass, and a number of massless Goldstone bosons result. If the technofermions transform under SU 2 U 1 EU as left-handed doublets and right-handed singlets, three linear combinations of these Goldstone bosons couple to three of the electroweak gauge currents. In 1973 Jacku and Johnson and Cornwall and Norton studied the possibility that a non-vectorial gauge interaction of fermions can break itself, i.e., is strong enough to form a Goldstone boson coupled to the gauge current. Using abelian gauge models, they showed that, if such a Goldstone boson is formed, it is eaten by the Higgs mechanism, becoming the longitudinal component of the now massive gauge boson. Technically, the polarization function π appearing in the gauge boson propagator delta mu nu equals p mu p nu p Two minus G mu new P two one minus G two pi P two Display style delta underscore mu new equals FRAC FRAC P underscore mu P underscore new P carrot two G underscore mu new P carrot two left one G carrot two pi left P carrot two right right 
develops a pole at P2 equals 0 with residue F2, the square of the Goldstone boson's decay constant, and the gauge boson acquires mass m approximately equals Gf. In 1973, Weinstein showed that composite goldstone bosons whose constituent fermions transform in the standard way under SU 2 U 1 generate the weak boson masses 1 m w plus or minus equals 1 2 g f e w a n D M Z equals one two G two plus G two F E W M W cos theta W Display style one q quad m underscore w caret p m equals frac one two g f underscore e u quad erm and quad m underscore z equals frac one two s q r t g caret two plus g caret prime two f underscore e u equiv frac m underscore w cos theta underscore w this standard model relation is achieved with elementary Higgs bosons in electroweak doublets, it is verified experimentally to better than 1%. Here, G and G are SU and U gauge couplings and tan theta W equals G G display style tan theta underscore W equals frac G prime G defines the weak mixing angle. The important idea of a new strong gauge interaction of massless fermions at the electroweak scale few driving the spontaneous breakdown of its global chiral symmetry, of which an SU -U subgroup is weakly gauged, was first proposed in 1979 by S. Weinberg This technicolor mechanism is natural in that no fine-tuning of parameters is necessary. Topic. Extended technicolor Elementary Higgs bosons perform another important task. In the standard model, quarks and leptons are necessarily massless because they transform under SU -U as left-handed doublets and right-handed singlets. The Higgs doublet couples to these fermions. When it develops its vacuum expectation value, it transmits this electroweak breaking to the quarks and leptons, giving them their observed masses. In general, electroweak eigenstate fermions are not mass eigenstates, so this process also induces the mixing matrices observed in charged current weak interactions. In Technicolor, something else must generate the quark and lepton masses. The only natural possibility, one avoiding the introduction of elementary scalars, is to enlarge GTC to allow technofermions to couple to quarks and leptons. This coupling is induced by gauge bosons of the enlarged group. The picture, then, is that there is a large, extended technicolor, etc. gauge group GETC GTC in which technofermions, quarks, and leptons live in the same representations. At one or more high scales lambda etc., GETC is broken down to GTC, and quarks and leptons emerge as the TC singlet fermions. When alpha TC mu becomes strong at scale lambda TC approximately equals phi, the fermionic condensate T T T C approximately equals 4 pi F E W three display style wrangle bar t t wrangle underscore t c approximately four pi f underscore eu caret three forms. The condensate is the vacuum expectation value of the technofermion bilinear t t display style bar t t. The estimate here is based on naive dimensional analysis of the quark condensate in QCD, expected to be correct as an order of magnitude. Then, the transitions Q L O R L T L T R Q R 
O R R display style Q underscore L mathem or L underscore L right arrow T underscore L right arrow T underscore R right arrow Q underscore R mathem or L underscore R can proceed through the technofermions dynamical mass by the emission and reabsorption of etc bosons whose masses METC approximately equals GETC lambda etc are much greater than lambda TC. The quarks and leptons develop masses given approximately by 2 m q m e t c approximately equals g e t c 2 t t e t c m e t c 2 approximately equals 4 pi f e w 3 lambda e t c 2 Display style two q quad m underscore q l m underscore etc. Approximately frac g underscore etc. Carrot two langle bar t t wrangle underscore etc. m underscore etc. Carrot two approximately frac four pi f underscore eu carrot three lambda underscore etc. Carrot two. Here t t e t C display style Langle bar T T wrangle underscore etc is the technofermion condensate renormalized at the etc boson mass scale three T T E T C equals EXP Lambda T C M E T C D mu mu gamma m mu T T T C Display style three q quad langle bar t t wrangle underscore etc equals exp left in underscore lambda underscore t c caret m underscore etc frac d mu mu gamma underscore m mu right langle bar t t wrangle underscore t c where gamma m mu is the anomalous dimension of the technofermion bilinear t t display style bar t t at the scale mu the second estimate in eq 2 depends on the assumption that as happens in qcd alpha tc mu becomes weak not far above lambda tc so that the anomalous dimension gamma m of t t display style bar t t is small there Extended Technicolor was introduced in 1979 by Demopoulos and Suskind, and by Eichton and Lane. For a quark of mass mq approximately equals 1 GeV, and with lambda TC approximately equals 246 GeV, one estimates lambda etc. approximately equals 15 TeV. Therefore, assuming that G E T C 2 1 Display style g underscore etc. Carrot two g t r sim one. M e t c will be at least this large. In addition to the etc. proposal for quark and lepton masses, Eichton and Lane observed that the size of the etc. representations required to generate all quark and lepton masses suggests that there will be more than one electroweak doublet of technofermions. If so, there will be more spontaneously broken chiral symmetries and therefore more goldstone bosons than are eaten by the Higgs mechanism. These must acquire mass by virtue of the fact that the extra chiral symmetries are also explicitly broken, by the standard model interactions and the etc. interactions. These pseudo-goldstone bosons are called technopians, pi t. An application of Dashin's theorem gives for the etc. contribution to their mass 4 f e w 2 
m pi t 2 approximately equals g e t c 2 t t t t e t c m e t c 2 approximately equals 16 pi 2 f e w 6 lambda e t c 2 Display style four q quad f underscore e u carrot two m underscore pi t carrot two approximately frac g underscore etc carrot two langle bar t t bar t t wrangle underscore etc m underscore etc carrot two approximately frac sixteen pi carrot two f underscore e u carrot six lambda underscore etc carrot two. The second approximation in eq. Four assumes that T T T T E T C approximately equals T T E T C two Display style Langle bar T T bar T T wrangle underscore etc. Approximately Langle bar T T wrangle underscore etc. Carrot two. For few approximately equals lambda T C approximately equals two hundred forty six G E V and lambda etc. Approximately equals fifteen T E V. This contribution to M pi T is about fifty G E V. Since etc. Interactions generate M Q display style m underscore q l and the coupling of technopians to quark and lepton pairs one expects the couplings to be higgs like ie roughly proportional to the masses of the quarks and leptons this means that technopians are expected to decay to the heaviest q q display style bar q q and display style bar l l pairs allowed Perhaps the most important restriction on the etc. framework for quark mass generation is that etc. interactions are likely to induce flavor changing neutral current processes such as mu e plus gamma, kl mu plus e, and delta s. Topic <laughs> two and delta b. Two interactions that induce k zero. Left right arrow K zero Display style K carrot zero left right arrow bar K carrot zero and B zero left right arrow B zero Display style B carrot zero left right arrow bar B carrot zero mixing. The reason is that the algebra of the etc. currents involved in M Q display style M underscore Q L generation imply Q Q display style bar Q Q caret prime and display style bar L L caret prime etc. Currents which, when written in terms of fermion mass eigenstates, have no reason to conserve flavor. The strongest constraint comes from requiring that etc. interactions mediating k display style k k display style bar k mixing contribute less than the standard model. This implies an effective lambda etc. greater than 1000 TeV. The actual lambda etc. may be reduced somewhat if CKM like mixing angle factors are present. If these interactions are CP violating, as they well may be, the constraint from the epsilon parameter is that the effective lambda etc. greater than 104 TeV. Such huge etc. mass scales imply tiny quark and lepton masses and etc. contributions to m pi t of at most a few GeV, in conflict with LEP searches for pi t at the z0. 
Extended Technicolor is a very ambitious proposal, requiring that quark and lepton masses and mixing angles arise from experimentally accessible interactions. If there exists a successful model, it would not only predict the masses and mixings of quarks and leptons and technopians, it would explain why there are three families of each, they are the ones that fit into the etc. representations of Q L and T. It should not be surprising that the construction of a successful model has proven to be very difficult. <laughs> Walking Technicolor. Since quark and lepton masses are proportional to the bilinear technofermion condensate divided by the etc. mass scale squared, their tiny values can be avoided if the condensate is enhanced above the weak alpha Tc estimate in EQ. 2 T T E T C approximately equals T T T C approximately equals 4 pi f e w 3 display style langle bar t t wrangle underscore etc approximately langle bar t t wrangle underscore t c approximately 4 pi f underscore e u caret 3 during the 1980s several dynamical mechanisms were advanced to do this in 1981 Holdham suggested that, if the alpha Tc mu evolves to a nontrivial fixed point in the ultraviolet, with a large positive anomalous dimension gamma m4 t t bar t t realistic quark and lepton masses could arise with lambda etc. large enough to suppress etc. induced k k k display style bar k mixing however no example of a non-trivial ultraviolet fixed point in a four-dimensional gauge theory has been constructed in 1985 holdham analyzed a technicolor theory in which a slowly varying alpha tc mu was envisioned his focus was to separate the chiral breaking and confinement scales but he also noted that such a theory could enhance t t e t C display style Langle bar T T wrangle underscore etc. and thus allow the etc. scale to be raised. In 1986, Akiba and Yanagita also considered enhancing quark and lepton masses by simply assuming that alpha T C is constant and strong all the way up to the etc. scale. In the same year, Yamawaki, Bando, and Matamoto again imagined an ultraviolet fixed point in a non asymptotically free theory to enhance the technofermion condensate. In 1986, Applequist, Karabali, and Wijawardana discussed the enhancement of fermion masses in an asymptotically free technicolor theory with a slowly running, or walking, gauge coupling. The slowness arose from the screening effect of a large number of technofermions, with the analysis carried out through two loop perturbation theory. In 1987 Applequist and Wijewardana explored this walking scenario further. They took the analysis to three loops, noted that the walking can lead to a power law enhancement of the technofermion condensate, and estimated the resultant quark, lepton, and technopian masses. The condensate enhancement arises because the associated technofermion mass decreases slowly, roughly linearly, as a function of its renormalization scale. This corresponds to the condensate anomalous dimension gamma m in EQ 3 approaching unity. See below. In the 1990s, the idea emerged more clearly that walking is naturally described by asymptotically free gauge theories dominated in the infrared by an approximate fixed point. Unlike the speculative proposal of ultraviolet fixed points, fixed points in the infrared are known to exist in asymptotically free theories, arising at two loops in the beta function, providing that the fermion count nf is large enough. This has been known since the first two-loop computation in 1974 by Caswell. If n f is close to the value n caret f display style hat n underscore f at which asymptotic freedom is lost, the resultant infrared fixed point is weak of parametric order n caret f minus n f display style hat n underscore f n underscore f and reliably accessible in perturbation theory. 
This weak coupling limit was explored by Banks and Zacks in 1982. The fixed point coupling alpha IR becomes stronger as NF is reduced from N caret F display style hat N underscore F. Below some critical value NFC, the coupling becomes strong enough greater than AC SB to break spontaneously the massless technofermions chiral symmetry. Since the analysis must typically go beyond two-loop perturbation theory, the definition of the running coupling alpha TC mu, its fixed point value alpha IR, and the strength AC SB necessary for chiral symmetry breaking depend on the particular renormalization scheme adopted. For zero alpha IR minus alpha chi SB alpha IR1 display style zero, i.e., for NF just below NFC, the evolution of alpha TC mu is governed by the infrared fixed point and it will evolve slowly walk for a range of momenta above the breaking scale lambda TC. To overcome the M E T C two display style M underscore etc. carrot two Suppression of the masses of first and second generation quarks involved in K display style K K display style bar K mixing this range must extend almost to their etc scale of O 10 3 TeV display style math call O 10 caret 3 H box TeV Cohen and Georgie argued that gamma M Topic. One is the signal of spontaneous chiral symmetry breaking, i.e., that gamma m ak sb. One. Therefore, in the walking alpha TC region, gamma m approximately equals one, and from eqs two and three, the light quark masses are enhanced approximately by m, etc. Lambda TC. Display style frac m underscore text etc lambda underscore text tc. The idea that alpha tc mu walks for a large range of momenta when alpha ir lies just above ac sb was suggested by Lane and Ramana. They made an explicit model, discussed the walking that ensued, and used it in their discussion of walking technicolor phenomenology at hadron colliders. This idea was developed in some detail by Applequist, Turning, and Wijewardana. Combining a perturbative computation of the infrared fixed point with an approximation of AC SB based on the Schwinger Dyson equation, they estimated the critical value NFC and explored the resultant electroweak physics. Since the 1990s, most discussions of walking technicolor are in the framework of theories assumed to be dominated in the infrared by an approximate fixed point. Various models have been explored, some with the technofermions in the fundamental representation of the gauge group and some employing higher representations. The possibility that the technicolor condensate can be enhanced beyond that discussed in the walking literature has also been considered recently by Luti and Akui under the name conformal technicolor. They envision an infrared stable fixed point, but with a very large anomalous dimension for the operator T T. Display style bar t t. It remains to be seen whether this can be realized, for example, in the class of theories currently being examined using lattice techniques. Topic: <laughs> Top quark mass. The walking enhancement described above may be insufficient to generate the measured top quark mass, even for an etc. scale as low as a few TeV. However, this problem could be addressed if the effective 4 technofermion coupling resulting from etc. gauge boson exchange is strong and tuned just above a critical value. The analysis of this strong etc. possibility is that of a Nambu Jonah Licinio model with an additional technicolor gauge interaction. The technofermion masses are small compared to the etc. scale, the cutoff on the effective theory, but nearly constant out to this scale, leading to a large top quark mass. No fully realistic etc. theory for all quark masses has yet been developed incorporating these ideas. A related study was carried out by Moransky and Yamawaki. A problem with this approach is that it involves some degree of parameter fine-tuning, in conflict with Technicolor's guiding principle of naturalness. Finally, it should be noted that there is a large body of closely related work in which etc. does not generate mount. 
These are the top quark condensate, top color and top color assisted technicolor models in which new strong interactions are ascribed to the top quark and other third generation fermions. As with the strong etc scenario described above, all these proposals involve a considerable degree of fine tuning of gauge couplings. Topic: <laughs> Technicolor on the lattice. Lattice gauge theory is a non-perturbative method applicable to strongly interacting technicolor theories, allowing first principles exploration of walking and conformal dynamics. In 2007, Catterall and Sanino used lattice gauge theory to study SU gauge theories with two flavors of Dirac fermions in the symmetric representation, finding evidence of conformality that has been confirmed by subsequent studies. As of 2010, the situation for SU gauge theory with fermions in the fundamental representation is not as clear cut. In 2007, Applequist, Fleming, and Neal reported evidence that a non-trivial infrared fixed point develops in such theories when there are 12 flavors, but not when there are 8. While some subsequent studies confirmed these results, others reported different conclusions, depending on the lattice methods used, and there is not yet consensus. Further lattice studies exploring these issues, as well as considering the consequences of these theories for precision electroweak measurements, are underway by several research groups. Technicolor phenomenology Any framework for physics beyond the standard model must conform with precision measurements of the electroweak parameters. Its consequences for physics at existing and future high-energy hadron colliders, and for the dark matter of the universe must also be explored. Precision electroweak tests In 1990, the phenomenological parameters S, T, and U were introduced by Peskin and Takeuchi to quantify contributions to electroweak radiative corrections from physics beyond the standard model. They have a simple relation to the parameters of the electroweak chiral Lagrangian. The Peskin Takeuchi analysis was based on the general formalism for weak radiative corrections developed by Kennedy, Lynn, Peskin, and Stewart, and alternate formulations also exist. The S, T, and U parameters describe corrections to the electroweak gauge boson propagators from physics beyond the standard model. They can be written in terms of polarization functions of electroweak currents and their spectral representation as follows 5 S equals 16 pi d d q 2 pi 33 n e w q 2 minus pi 3 q n e w q 2 Q two equals zero equals four pi D M two M four Sigma V three M two minus Sigma a three M two N E W six T equals sixteen Pi M Z two Sin two two Theta W Pi eleven N E W Zero minus pi thirty three N E W zero equals four pi M Z two sin two two theta W zero infinity D M two M 
2 sigma v 1 m 2 plus sigma o 1 m 2 minus sigma V three M two minus sigma A three M two N E W display style begin aligned five Q quad S and equals sixteen Pi F R A C D D Q carrot two left Pi underscore thirty three carrot Math BF new Q carrot two Pi underscore three Q carrot Math BF new Q carrot two right underscore Q carrot two equals zero and equals four Pi int F R A C D M carrot two M carrot four left sigma underscore V Carrot three M carrot two Sigma underscore a carrot three M carrot two right carrot math BF new six Q quad T and equals FRAC sixteen Pi M underscore Z carrot two sin carrot two two theta underscore W left Pi underscore eleven carrot math BF new zero Pi underscore thirty three carrot math BF new zero right and equals FRAC four Pi M underscore Z carrot two sin carrot two two theta Data underscore W int underscore zero carrot in a T F R A C D M carrot two M carrot two left Sigma underscore V carrot one M carrot two plus Sigma underscore a carrot one M carrot two Sigma underscore V carrot three M carrot two Sigma underscore a carrot three M carrot two right carrot math BF new end aligned where only new beyond standard model physics is included. The quantities are calculated relative to a minimal standard model with some chosen reference mass of the Higgs boson, taken to range from the experimental lower bound of 117 GeV to 1000 GeV where its width becomes very large. For these parameters to describe the dominant corrections to the standard model, the mass scale of the new physics must be much greater than Mw and Mz, and the coupling of quarks and leptons to the new particles must be suppressed relative to their coupling to the gauge bosons. This is the case with Technicolor, so long as the lightest technovector mesons, ρ t and it, are heavier than 200 to 300 GeV. The S parameter is sensitive to all new physics at the TeV scale, while T is a measure of weak isospin breaking effects. The U parameter is generally not useful. Most new physics theories, including Technicolor theories, give negligible contributions to it. The S and T parameters are determined by global fit to experimental data including Z-pole data from LEP at CERN, top quark and W-mass measurements at Fermilab, and measured levels of atomic parity violation. The resultant bounds on these parameters are given in the review of particle properties. Assuming U equals zero, the S and T parameters are small and, in fact, consistent with zero. Seven S equals minus zero point zero four plus or minus zero point zero nine minus zero point zero seven T equals zero point zero two plus or minus zero point zero nine plus zero point zero nine. Display style seven Q quad begin aligned S and equals minus zero point zero four PM zero point zero nine minus zero point zero seven T and equals 0.02 pm 0.09 plus 0.09 end aligned where the central value corresponds to a Higgs mass of 117 GeV and the correction to the central value when the Higgs mass is increased to 300 GeV is given in parentheses. These values place tight restrictions on beyond standard model theories, when the relevant corrections can be reliably computed. The S parameter estimated in QCD like Technicolor theories is significantly greater than the experimentally allowed value. The computation was done assuming that the spectral integral for S is dominated by the lightest rho T and at resonances, or by scaling effective Lagrangian parameters from QCD. In walking Technicolor, however, the physics at the TeV scale and beyond must be quite different from that of QCD like theories. In particular, the vector and axial vector spectral functions cannot be dominated by just the lowest lying resonances. It is unknown whether higher energy contributions to sigma v a3 display style sigma underscore v a caret 3 are a tower of identifiable rho t and at states or a smooth continuum. It has been conjectured that rho t and at partners could be more nearly degenerate in walking theories approximate parity doubling, reducing their contribution to S-lattice calculations are underway or plan to test these ideas and obtain reliable estimates of S in walking theories. The restriction on the T parameter poses a problem for the generation of the top quark mass in the etc. framework. 
The enhancement from walking can allow the associated etc. scale to be as large as a few TeV, but since the etc. interactions must be strongly weak isospin breaking to allow for the large top bottom mass splitting the contribution to the T parameter, as well as the rate for the decay Z 0 B B display style Z caret 0 right arrow bar B B could be too large. Topic: Hadron Collider phenomenology. Early studies generally assumed the existence of just one electroweak doublet of technofermions, or of one techni family including one doublet each of color triplet technoquarks and color singlet technoleptons four electroweak doublets in total. The number nd of electroweak doublets determines the decay constant f needed to produce the correct electroweak scale, as f. <laughs> Phew, square root nd 246 GeV, square root nd. In the minimal, one doublet model, three goldstone bosons technopians, pi t, have decay constant f. Phew 246 GeV and are eaten by the electroweak gauge bosons. The most accessible collider signal is the production through Q Q display style bar Q Q annihilation in a hadron collider of spin 1 rho t plus or minus 0 display style rho underscore t caret pm 0 and their subsequent decay into a pair of longitudinally polarized weak bosons w l plus or minus z L zero display style w underscore l caret pm z underscore l caret zero and w l plus w l minus display style w underscore l caret plus w underscore l caret at an expected mass of 1.5 to 2.0 TeV and width of 300 to 400 GeV, such rho Ts would be difficult to discover at the LHC. A one-family model has a large number of physical technopians, with f. Phew, <laughs> square root 4 123 GeV there is a collection of correspondingly lower mass color singlet and octet technovectors decaying into technopian pairs. The pi t's are expected to decay to the heaviest possible quark and lepton pairs. Despite their lower masses, the rho t's are wider than in the minimal model and the backgrounds to the pi t decays are likely to be insurmountable at a hadron collider. This picture changed with the advent of walking technicolor. A walking gauge coupling occurs if AC SB lies just below the IR fixed point value alpha IR, which requires either a large number of electroweak doublets in the fundamental representation of the gauge group, e.g., or a few doublets in higher dimensional TC representations. In the latter case, the constraints on etc. representations generally imply other technofermions in the fundamental representation as well. In either case, there are technopians pi t with decay constant f. F E W display style F L L F underscore E U. This implies lambda T C F E W display style lambda underscore T C L L F underscore E U. So that the lightest technovectors accessible at the LHC. Rho t, omega t, at with IgJPC equals 1 plus 1 minus minus, 0 minus 1 minus minus, 1 minus 1 plus plus, have masses well below a TeV. The class of theories with many technofermions and thus F F E W displaystyle F L L F underscore E U is called low scale technicolor. A second consequence of walking technicolor concerns the decays of the spin 1 technohadrons. 
Since technopian masses m pi t two t t t t m e t c display style m underscore pi underscore t caret two propto langle bar t t bar t t wrangle underscore m underscore etc. C e q four walking enhances them much more than it does other technohedron masses. Thus, it is very likely that the lightest m rho t w l plus or minus zero pi t display style w underscore l caret p m zero pi underscore t w l w l gamma pi t and gamma w l. The coupling of the lightest technovectors to w l is proportional to f few. Thus, all their decay rates are suppressed by powers of f f e w two one display style f f underscore e u caret two l l one or the fine structure constant, giving total widths of a few GeV for rho t to a few tenths of a GeV for omega t and t. A more speculative consequence of walking technicolor is motivated by consideration of its contribution to the s parameter. As noted above, the usual assumptions made to estimate STC are invalid in a walking theory. In particular, the spectral integrals used to evaluate STC cannot be dominated by just the lowest lying rho t and at and, if STC is to be small, the masses and weak current couplings of the rho t and at could be more nearly equal than they are in QCD. Low-scale technicolor phenomenology, including the possibility of a more parity doubled spectrum, has been developed into a set of rules and decay amplitudes. An April 2011 announcement of an excess in jet pairs produced in association with a W boson measured at the Tevatron has been interpreted by Eichton, Lane, and Martin as a possible signal of the technopian of low scale technicolor. The general scheme of low scale technicolor makes little sense if the limit on m rho t display style m underscore rho underscore t is pushed past about 700 GeV. The LHC should be able to discover it or rule it out. Searches there involving decays to technopians and thence to heavy quark jets are hampered by backgrounds from T T display style bar T T production. Its rate is 100 times larger than that at the Tevatron. Consequently, the discovery of low-scale technicolor at the LHC relies on all leptonic final state channels with favorable signal to background ratios. Rho T plus or minus W L plus or minus Z L zero display style rho underscore T carrot PM right arrow W underscore L carrot PM Z underscore L carrot zero A T plus or minus gamma W L Plus or minus display style underscore t caret pm right arrow gamma w underscore l caret pm and omega t gamma z l zero display style omega underscore t right arrow gamma z underscore l caret zero topic. Dark matter Technicolor theories naturally contain dark matter candidates. Almost certainly, models can be built in which the lowest lying technobaryon, a technicolor singlet bound state of technofermions, is stable enough to survive the evolution of the universe. If the technicolor theory is low scale, F F E W Display style f l l f underscore e u. The baryon's mass should be no more than one to two TeV. If not, it could be much heavier. The technobaryon must be electrically neutral and satisfy constraints on its abundance. Given the limits on spin-independent dark matter nucleon cross sections from dark matter search experiments, ten minus forty two C M two Display style less m ten carat minus forty two mathrm cm carat two. For the masses of interest, it may have to be electroweak neutral weak isospin i equals zero as well. These considerations suggest that the old technicolor dark matter candidates may be difficult to produce at the LHC. 
A different class of Technicolor dark matter candidates light enough to be accessible at the LHC was introduced by Francesco Sanino and his collaborators. These states are pseudo-goldstone bosons possessing a global charge that makes them stable against decay. See also Higgsless model Topcolor Top quark condensate